Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And this is my first impressions look on the Adidas Crazy Infinity, right? So this shoe is heavily inspired by the Adidas Crazy, Kobe Crazy one, right? And um, yeah, I mean, you can obviously definitely tell where it gets its inspiration. And it literally says that in the tech specs. So this shoe retails for a whopping 160 bucks. So if you guys do want to cop, I'll try to leave the fit link in the description box. But let's get it started right off with the Tractionas. Even the traction feels is like very, very similar to the Kobe crazy one, right? So we have full on herringbone going throughout the entire outsole. We also have this line here in the heel. We also have a midfoot chain plate and it's kind of exposed with this like glossy plastic. And then we also have three dots here in the forefoot. And so just trying it on my wood floors, I was actually quite surprised. The bite seems pretty damn good. There's a nice tiny little, little bit of squeak, you know, mostly silent, but if you, if you do it hard enough, there is a little bit of a squeak. Um, but yeah, the traction and the pipe seems pretty damn good. So I'm, I was like pretty surprised at that. And as far as the outro goes, it does look kind of like semi-translucent -trans a little bit to me. But yeah, I guess it's slightly or semi-translucent. You can see the black plastic through the rubber, right? Uh, so th the bite seems pretty good and also it's a herringbone traction pattern there is a little bit of space between the grooves as well so hopefully it doesn't trap too much dust and durability seems like it's gonna be really really freaking good the rubber is super hard the grooves are thick and deep so uh durability if you're gonna be playing on outdoor court you should be fine here in the crazy infinity so yeah traction feels pretty damn good but one thing that does not feel good is the heel to toe transition, right? So uh, for me, it's actually pretty damn important. Yeah, And most shoes do it pretty well, you know what I mean? But there's also shoes that do it horrendously like this shoe and also like the Jordan 12s. Uh, but just, I don't like shoes that feel like a boot, you know, like a boot-like shoe that, that feels super clunky, that feels very, very stiff and it like slaps, you know what I mean? So that's what this shoe feels like right now. And that's what the original Kobe Crazy one felt like. And also, you know, like the foam posits and freaking Tim's, <laughs> like it feels like a boot, you know? So here in the heel, however, there's a nice rounded shape, which feels nice. Uh, look at that. You have a nice curved shape and also the foam, right? This foam is actually kind of soft. So it, it actually feels pretty nice here in the heel, but look at this. Look at how freaking flat this shape, the shape of the sole is, you know what I mean? So here in the forefoot, definitely feels like a slapper there, there's a tiny bit of cur curve i guess but look at that look at how small that curve is and look at this you freaking cannot bend this shoe it's really really stiff so yeah it doesn't feel good really at all and it reminds you a lot of the original kobe crazy one it reminds you a lot of the jordan 12s which i really hated playing because of that i mean obviously i'm sure there's people that don't care because i know people that enjoy playing like foams and like the Jordan 12s are just mind blowing to me. But I mean, if you don't mind that, then obviously you're not gonna mind this, you know? But for me, I really don't like it. So there's that. Moving on to the cushion. So the tech specs are terrible. It literally says nothing on the tech specs, even on their website and also on their app. So um, it, there's like a description of like, remember the Adidas crazy shoes back in the year 2000, stuff like that. It doesn't have anything about the tech specs. And when I open up the tech specs, it just says zip closure, textile upper, which is crazy. <laughs> Textile lining, rubber outsole import. It doesn't say anything about the cushion. It doesn't say anything about the foam, right? So I'm guessing this is probably like Adiprene or maybe EVA, right? I, I apologize if I'm wrong, but it's literally the entire freaking shoe. Look at the entire side of this, right? So I guess this entire thing is the midsole kind of, right? and it wraps around all the way here into the medial side, right? But there, it's actually kind of soft here in the heel, which surprised me. It's kind of soft. There's a nice little compression there as well. The, the core feel seems pretty good. Uh, it's not as good as the original Kobe Crazy one, but it's pretty good. And then moving on to the insole, the insole is really crappy. The insole is super cheap feeling. It feels very, very thin. It's like a regular Adidas insole. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I feel like Adidas just doesn't care about insoles. But one thing I do like, however, is the strobo board. The strobo board is actually kind of soft and there's holes in the heel. 
and also holes in the forefoot. So, you know, when I was pressing it with my finger and also when I had the shoe on, it was actually pretty damn soft. So stepping covered and underfoot cushion does feel pretty damn nice and coupling that with like the kind of like exposed foam, I guess, <laughs> you know what I mean? With a little bit of compression here in the heel, it actually feels pretty damn nice. So the cushion feels pretty good. I like how it feels. It feels way better than the originals, or I guess the shoe that this shoe is inspired by, you know? So there is the cushioning setup there. Moving on to the uh, the upper guys. The <laughs> so we here in the toe box, here in the toe box, we got rubber and it is the stiffest freaking material I've ever found. It feels even stiffer than the original Kobe Crazy one, which is kind of insane. Like, look at this. I can't, I can't bend it. You know what I mean? It's just so free. I mean, like, I guess if you want, if you're in construction and you're, you're worried about your toes, like maybe a brick or a hammer falling on your toes, you're gonna be good to go, man. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt your toes. I mean, maybe if you're working out uh, and you wanted some shoes that'll be, that'll protect your toes, I guess. But if you're playing ball, you, uh, just in my personal opinion, I like something a little bit softer on top of my toes. This is just absolutely stiff, right? So I hate that. And then obviously we have foam on the sides. So that's also freaking stiff. Uh, we are, we do have this kind of like metal screen mesh. And then obviously we have this zip enclosure thing going on. It's kind of like a shroud, you know? We got laces and then we also have the tongue. Uh, the tongue actually, there's a good amount of padding. And also here in the ankle area, we have a lot of padding, just like on the side, like on the left and right. Here, kind of in the back where your Achilles is, there's not that much padding. But yeah, this material sucks. You know, it's super stiff. It's very, very cumbersome. It also like when it kind of like, when I'm walking around, this part kind of digs into the top of my foot. It feels a little uncomfortable. It doesn't hurt, but it's just uncomfortable, you know? And I don't really think this is going to break in. There's no way this material breaks in nicely. And even, even if it got a little bit softer, it's still freaking, it would be really, really stiff still comparing to like mesh, textiles, you know what I mean? Even leather, you know? So yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this material choice. So <laughs> so there's that. Moving on to the, the fit, I went up half a size and it fits me pretty damn well. And I would suggest everyone goes up half a size because my toes are right at the edge. If I went true to size, these would be super duper snug and I would probably be scrunching my toes up. So most people, I will probably suggest going up half a size. Here in the toe box is also uh, pretty damn snug and width wise it's actually kind of narrow. So I guess that's a good thing. I do like to have a snug fit in my ball shoes, uh, but like I said, I would suggest everyone goes you know, up half a size if you want a snug fit. If you have a wide foot or you want a roomy fit or like roomy toe box, then I would suggest going up probably like a full size or a full size and a half, right? So there's that. Moving on to the support and... <laughs> So this has to be one of the most supportive shoes that you can get right now. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Your foot is not going freaking anywhere. Like lateral containment, look at this. There's no way. There's no way your foot's gonna come out of this footbed. So yeah, you should be good to go. I mean, there's no way. So <laughs> there's that. And I guess for Outrigger, there's not a whole lot going on, but this is a pretty wide. Actually, let's compare it. So the AC11 has pretty good lateral stability. You have a wide base, you're literally ground. So let's compare it to the AC11s, right? Yeah, it's actually pretty close. I would say it's a little bit narrower. Actually, it's a good amount narrow. What? Look at that. That's actually pretty damn narrow. What the? So hopefully there, I don't have an issue with lateral instability, but I mean, yeah, you know what though? It kind of reminds, like this shape is pretty edged off and it kind of reminds me of Air Force Ones. And you know how Air Force Ones are super squared off? So it might actually be a little dangerous, but we'll have to see on that. I'm gonna hoop in these. And now moving on, <laughs> moving on to the weight. So um, yeah, this shoe is gonna be freaking heavy. These shoes feel so damn heavy. I'm guessing like 16 ounces? Oh, 17 point yo 17.9 ounces so basically 18 ounces let's check this 17.95 ounces yeah these shoes feel like freaking bricks dude honestly they feel like bricks like the shape is like literally flat like a brick here so yeah it feels heavy it feels bulky it feels clunky it feels cumbersome you know what i mean so yeah it doesn't feel so good the only thing that feels good is kind of like the cushion i guess the traction feels pretty good as well but 
Other than that, it feels terrible. So there's that. Moving on to the aesthetics. Honestly, this shoe looks freaking good. I love how it looks. Like style-wise, like if you're gonna wear these like off court, I definitely feel like you can pull it off. It looks really, really good. But yeah, like practicality-wise, you know, this design is terrible. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got the three stripes logo here on the lateral and medial side, which is pretty cool. So tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, yeah, it looks dope. So I'm definitely gonna wear these casually, but I really am not excited to hoop in these guys. It's gonna probably really hurt my feet. You know, just because it's so clunky and bulky, like, I don't know what it is. When I'm playing like super bulky and heavy shoes, it like hurts my like, um, I don't know, like my, what's that? Like my tibialis, tibialis muscle? You know what I mean? Like the muscle kind of like where your shin bone is. You know what I mean? I feel like it's just, I'm doing so much work trying to keep the shoe up, you know what I mean? So. I'm not looking forward to uh, playing these because I hate playing foams, I hate playing Jordan 12s, and I hate, I hated playing the Kobe Crazy ones. So, and hate is a strong word, but I really, really dislike playing those. So, yeah, uh, there's my first impressions of. <laughs> of uh, the crazy infinity again if you guys do want to cop a try to leave the feed link in the description box but that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one